what is up and welcome back to the channel i hope you guys enjoyed the last video of chicken and dumplings today we're gonna do another sweet treat we're gonna be doing peanut butter chocolate chip cookie bars so simple so easy you your family everybody will enjoy them 20 minutes of bake time five to ten minutes of prep time it's sticky it's a little bit gooey but it is well well worth it i'm telling you the last great great recipe also don't forget if you like this video smash that thumbs up button don't forget to hit the bell icon for all the latest and greatest videos and also subscribe down below to my channel that being said if you guys are ready to get this video started as always i am that guy to do it for you let's get it. let's get this easy recipe going first you're going to need some mini peanut butter chips some mini chocolate chips two eggs, yellow cake, and also five tablespoons of butter. That's it. Take your five tablespoons of butter, put it in a bowl, make sure you have a cover on it. Nuke it for about 20 to 25 seconds in the microwave to melt it and make it easier for stirring. Then go ahead, take your pot or your bowl, whatever you want to mix all this stuff in, crack your two eggs, drop it right into the pot, pour your butter right into the pot, and then your yellow cake mix, dump it also right into the pot. Now this is just for a little tip, a little trick here. Go ahead and mix this together before we go ahead and add the uh, mini chocolate chips and the mini peanut butter chips. Mix it all together. It should look just like that. Get your pan ready. Spray it down, make sure she's nice and greased up. And then you're gonna go ahead with your chips, your peanut butter chips, you're gonna do one cup. And then also with your chocolate chips, you're gonna go ahead and do another cup and dump it in and you're gonna continue mixing it, mix it thoroughly. Now that you have your mixture all mixed up, go ahead and take it, take everything out of the bowl, put it right into your greased up pan, and then you're gonna try to spread it evenly, as evenly as possible. You can try using the spatula to flatten it out, but don't forget, you're gonna have to get your hands dirty. We want this thing even. We don't want it all lumped up, so you wanna make it nice and even. Take your hands, kinda help spread it out because it is sticky. And when you spread it out, it should look something like this. It ought to be just perfect. Your oven preheated to 350. And then you're going to go ahead and put this in the oven for about 20 minutes. Now that she finished baking in the oven for about 20 minutes, let it cool down for about 10 to 15 minutes because we're going to do a little trick to this recipe. This step is completely up to you. I use a little bit of chocolate sauce, spread it back and forth, and then you're going to go ahead and use your caramel sauce. You're going to put it right on top of the chocolate sauce, kind of like the same thing we did here. That is it. That is going to wrap up another video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, the hardest part was just the mixing. 
If it's too hard on you, too hard on your arms, you get too tired, you can always use a mixer as well. Don't forget, always use your hands, get them dirty, because it's sticky, but when you spread it out, it all evenly cooks. It's perfect. It's that simple. Also, don't forget, check out my playlist down below. Make sure you check out all my videos, see if you like them. With that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. I will see you fine ladies and gentlemen at the next video. See ya.